good life. Waking up to the hidden in our world. When you are awoke, when you start getting knowledge, when you start getting into truth, and you are being exposed to the thing that you were not being aware of before. That is the moment that you realize that, oh, I die know. I wish I have woken up a very long time ago, even before now. And, and I'm sure that before you are awake, before you get into this truth that you are, that you are getting now, that you, that you know, you must have found out that there are some people as I did, that you think that they were just like the worldly people. They are just living their life without caring about truth, caring, caring not about the true life. Me, that was mine. That was what happened to me. Because when I started getting into knowledge, when I started receiving truth, and me accepting to actually go to the truth part, I found out that many artists were already secretly releasing their music and in the music they are actually putting messages and sharing messages to everybody for for them to receive those that are not for us those that they are working against us and they are part of us just like our military our police those a part of our brothers and sisters out there that they just met met themselves in those activities is those government work that most think that working for your country serving your country is a very good thing but deep down when we know what the police and the military represent we find out that ah these ones they are the ones that actually block people when we are trying to protest, even I don't believe in protesting because protesting is acts that you are giving people or already your power. Me, I believe and I know that when you start behaving, start acting according to how you want to see, you don't need to go and protest because when you are protesting, it's just like you are giving away your power away to other people. So when you want to see change in your life, is you acting. You being the number one example of what the change that you want to see. So, you getting into knowledge, waking up, and seeing the unveiling the Eden that was kept away from you. You know that there's more to life. Many people out there need this that you know. So don't just be the only one that you care about that me, I will know this and it is okay like that. Only me, I can use this knowledge that I know. I can apply it to my life. Instead of doing that, I think and I'm here to tell you that you should follow the on another way. Like you sharing that message out to the public. Sharing what you know, a little of what you know is enough. You don't need to know everything. Even the grandmasters that know things outside there don't know all. And despite all, they shared their knowledge out to us, the people. So you too, you should be part of this. Share your knowledge. Share your wisdom. Share what you have learned that you think that it really matters for you. Because the, the lifestyle and the way of life that we meet outside here, it doesn't depend on all of us. It doesn't depend on our own lifestyles or our own reality. What we see out there is the average of everyone outside here. What they accept, what they think is right, what they think is, what they think is wrong. So the more you start putting your own outside there, we will let people know about this also. Many are there still seeking for this knowledge that we know, that you know. Now, 
So be very grateful for you being part of this. When you know it's now to not share. When you know it's time for you to not show the world what you know. So don't let any voice that might come to your mind that what can you do? What can you do about this? You have no everything now. What can you do about it? You can't change people outside there. Stop that voice. That is the other side of voice in you. Your real God is that one that wants what you know to get outside there in the public. Start sharing. Start sharing those knowledge. Start sharing that your understanding. Start sharing that what you think is strong in your mind that people must know. Because the changes they want to see outside of our world, outside of our world that is in here, that is outside in the main outside world, is the knowledge that every one of us are sharing to them. Because these days, many people, it's very hard for, for many people to read. Because there are many, many distractions outside there. There's this event that happened today. There's another event that happened tomorrow. There's another event that will still happen next week. So there are, there are many distractions out there for people. So the little that you put outside there is enough. When you have come into this knowledge, when you have unveiled a bit of the truth, a bit of the freedom that we should have as men. So knowing that we are part of it all, none of us is cut off. As they said, we are all connected. All the old chains are bound together. What we share, what we do, affects someone out there. The school should have taught us about all this, but they are not popular, they are not men, mainly meant for us to really upgrade ourselves. The schools are part of the government programs that we should go through so that we can serve, we can serve the government. Okay, we'll speak later. When you get into knowledge, this is what you should first prioritize. Pri prioritize you using that knowledge in your life, then when you are in the process, as you are living the, the truth, as you are living the good life, as you are going to the trail, you are, you are living your trail by hand. Let people see the trail that you are laying by hand there, by hand there, as you walk, as you are living your life. Share the knowledge out. Share the truth. Share the wisdom. Don't let that no confidence in you say that what can you do about it you can't do nothing you can't change anybody no we are the master changers all of us we are all one we are connected together we can change people's life as me i have said most time during my meditation i change billions of people's life positively around the globe and that is what will finally happen because i know i believe in it i know the only thing and the only person we should believe in is in our in ourselves first. Without we believing in, in ourselves, the public can't believe us. Our loved ones can't believe us. So believe yourself. Don't listen to that voice that keep telling you what can you do about this? What can you do about it? All of us we can all do something about it when we are more in number, when we are much in numbers. The good life.